Good evening. Joe McCormick is off tonight. Ukrainian refugees are arriving in Erie, and local churches and other organizations are now asking people to continue showing that overwhelming support to help make their resettlement process seamless. Brianna Malone has been tracking this story today. She joins us now in the control room with much more on what's being asked of all of us to help Ukrainian refugees as they make Erie their new home. Brianna. Sean, organizations and churches are encountering a housing issue for Ukrainian refugees and are asking the community to continue showing support and providing a home for these individuals. The outpour of support from Erie residents to those in Ukraine have been seen over the last few months with countless donations. Ukrainian refugees have finally arrived and local organizations and churches are welcoming them with open arms. We're really excited to have them here. We pray for them um, every single time a new refugee arrives at church. We try to get them networked and we try to get them as many things as we can to make them feel at home and comfortable here. Members of Erie for Ukraine and Grace Slavic Pentecostal Church recall the moments the refugees arrived in Erie. Most of them were afraid to ask for help so when I would talk to the refugees they would mention to tell other refugees to ask for help if they need it. An issue organizations are encountering as the refugees continue to arrive is housing for the individuals. We are still constantly communicating with the local landlords here to um, to onboard more landlords in our system so that we can have more um, accessible apartment and housing available for immigrant and refugees. Area for Ukraine is asking for members of the community to step up and help provide a place for these refugees to live. Nobody has reached out to tell us that they have you know a building that they're willing to rent out for a year for free and then afterwards like they will expect rent or like maybe a couple months free to get them started. Um, so we just house them for now in our own homes. Head over to our website, yourerie.com, for anyone interested in providing housing for a refugee. Sean. Brianna Malone reporting tonight. Thank you, Brianna.